Welcome to City Snippet. Today we visit McNulty's in the West Village. Imagine you live in a townhouse in the West Village and every day you step out of your building and you look across the way and you walk down these worn steps. Maybe you need to water the plants outside that day. Oh man, I would love to live in the West Village. Even with its little narrow sidewalks, I could deal with those. Because the low buildings give a good light and maybe that's why people have so many potted plants and little garden setups. And the tree-lined streets feel kind of lush. Walking down the sidewalk past the fancy iron railings. Yeah, I could get used to that. But today, I'm on my way to McNulty's. We'll get there soon. But first, let's take in some of the townhouses. And some of the street art. But on Christopher Street, we head to my favorite mom and pop shop for coffee, beans, and tea, McNulty's, which kind of feels like you're stepping back in time. They've got a wide selection of coffee beans and loose teas. And today I actually bought a pound each of two different coffee beans and some chocolate covered espresso beans. I've snagged lots of loose teas here too, but today I think it's time to head out. See you later, McNulty's. Anyone who follows me on Instagram knows I have a thing about fire escapes. I'm kind of fascinated by them. But let's head east on Christopher Street making our way over to 7th Avenue. On the corner of 7th Avenue is Village Cigars, which has been there for about a century. As we cross 7th Avenue, keep an eye out for the Rainbow Crosswalk. It's just down the street from the Stonewall Inn. And hey, did you know there was a Stonewall National Monument? It's a national historic landmark to mark the June 28th, 1969 Stonewall Uprising. Oh, hey, let's listen to this music. And here's the Stonewall Inn. The Northern Dispensary was built in 1831 in what was at the time the northern section of Manhattan. Over at Waverly and West 10th is Julius's. There's been a bar in this spot since the mid 1800s. It's time for facades and ironwork. And don't walk too fast or you'll pass by Smalls, which is a tiny jazz club. 242 and 244 West 4th are two buildings that are part of the Greenwich Village Historic District. They were built in 1884 by architect John B. Snook, which I just had to put in, that in there because I like his name. And they have beautiful plants and ivy. We'll have to see more another day but it's time to say goodbye to the West Village for now.